when I hear about this player from not just people in San Francisco, from people all around the league, they always point to Mac Jones's intelligence, his ability to understand the offense, be able to read defenses, and this is something that Kyle Shanahan can build on. Okay, I get it, and all of that makes sense, but Marcus, I'm coming to you. To trade all that they traded to move up to the third pick in the draft to take a quarterback like Mac Jones. I, I hate to even phrase it this way because here's a young man just doing the best he can and trying to have an outstanding career, but is he good enough to be worth what they've given up to get there? Not based on what I've seen, G. And listen, this is – I talked about Mac Jones going to the New England Patriots. I thought that would be a great fit for him. So it's not like – Mac Jones is out of the first round of the NFL draft. But three, and I'm going to keep saying it until the draft comes, the third pick of the draft is supposed to change your organization. Or that's supposed to be the idea. You are not supposed to be looking for the same guys. You ain't supposed to be looking for Kirk Cousins or Matt Ryan at three. That ain't got you over the hump. You ain't supposed to be looking for Jimmy Garoppolo at three. That hasn't got you over the hump either. Now, if you are telling me, if San Francisco and any other franchise is telling me that they feel like Mac Jones is marketably better than Jimmy Garoppolo, or you're drafting him because you feel like Jimmy is hurt and not available enough, then okay, you kind of want to be the same football team and take the same chances. That's how I look at this. I'm not changing that view as long as we get to this mm -hmm. draft. And it does, Jeff. I, I think it is relevant here that they're not picking third because that's where they wound up. They traded three first-round oh. picks to get there in the first place. I think, Jeff, that does have to be factored into this somewhere, too. Yeah, listen, 100%. Think about this. They've really created the Mac Jones storm for this draft. I mean, by moving up, trading all these picks away, and then talking about and putting Mac Jones as their front runner, it's kind of blown people away. If you look at where Mac Jones was pre-draft, all those conversations, this guy was a late first rounder somewhere in that, and all of a sudden now we're talking about him at three. I'm with Swagoo on this. When you talk about the Justin Fields and the Trey Lances, the things that they can do outside of just pocket passing and play action passing, and all those things. I, and listen, I understand the fit for Shanahan. I get that. But at the end of the day, Shanahan has made every quarterback he has extremely good. So why would you trade all that away to go get a guy you could have gotten later on or traded less to get him? It just doesn't make sense to me to do what they've done and then go get a Matt Jones. And again, I'm with Swaggoo. This isn't, this isn't an indictment on Matt Jones. This was you pushed no. him up in there, and now you're paying a premium for what you've done. No. Go ahead, Diana. I I'm against everything you guys are saying here, I, both of you, with all due respect. I look at it this way. <clears throat> Kyle Shanahan, going back to his days in Washington with Robert Griffin III and Kirk Cousins, and then we, he, we, he had so much success with Matt Ryan. You're right. He has had success with quarterbacks. But I look at him as a maestro. And he just needs to find the instrument that he can play the music he wants to play. And this is the instrument he seems to be wanting to play. And, and it makes sense. Why right. not find the quarterback that fits what you're trying to do to have success? This makes so much sense. Right, look, look, but he ain't Madison. won no Grammy. <laughs> you know, no, yeah. no, he hasn't won a Grammy. Let me get Matt in. I'm sorry, but I haven't had Matt come, oh. come in the whole day. Matt, for those who've not seen it give us the evaluation give us the scouts unbiased evaluation of mac jones as a prospect and where does he rank on your overall board of the players in this draft yeah he is a good prospect and i think that's where we, we all have struggled with this a little bit because there are things that you like he is very accurate he's very smart his processing speed his ability to get from his first read to his second read to his third read that is very developed and as an only a 17 game started alabama it is impressive how far along he is as a mental student of the game but there are physical limitations he has the weakest arm of the top quarterbacks in this draft he is the least mobile of the top quarterbacks in this draft so greeny he's ranked number 27 overall on my big board on my rankings list i think that's where the hard part is is a player ranked 27 will be drafted third and i, and I think to go full circle here I'm never going to go against Adam Schefter's opinion or information, but if you traded two future first-round picks and a third-round pick and you don't know Bruh. who you're drafting, Bruh. that's irresponsible. Why would you trade and not Bruh. know who you're taking? I, I don't understand the logic there I mean, at all. So I love Schefter, and he, Matt, he's Matt, always I, right, I, I, I but don't, you don't trade I without don't, knowing. I don't think it's – yeah, Matt, I don't think –
think it's, it's I, I'm with you on that. You have to realize too, teams don't, you know this, teams don't want the information out. They do right. not, they're paranoid people. So, so while Schefter is saying they're gonna look at all the options, that's, that's true. But the San Francisco 49ers know who they're taking. They know who they're yes. going after. They don't yep. make that move. It's just we're three weeks out. So much has happened over the years. We've seen major shifts and changes. But I, I think for, for right now, it's safe to say this is the quarterback that they're targeting. Marcus, so let me, let me then get all the way back to you and Jeff over here with the, the angry wing of our show this morning so far. And, and it's just simply <laughs> this. If you had called up uh, Minnesota and said, we'll trade you two ones and a three for Kirk Cousins, how fast would they have made that trade? Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't need to In give up second. that much to get this player. That's, that, I think, is what we're saying here, Marcus. Oh, man. Hey, we... <laughs> I'm, I'm in the damn twilight zone. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> like, this is against everything any of us on this panel has ever watched. Like, if San Francisco, listen, if Mac Jones go third, kudos to him. Get your money, man. I hope it's the greatest situation. Because I want people to yeah. not think that we don't think Mac Jones can play quarterback. We do. But our experience in looking at the NFL draft, when you trade away picks, to go up and take a player, something about him has to be generational. It needs to be a trait that we can identify to say, ooh, we, that guy got something somebody else doesn't have in this draft. Kyle Pitts has a lot, a lot of people don't have in this draft. A lot of, Jamar Chase, Devontae Smith, if, if teams were doing that in need of those positions, we wouldn't scratch our head. We'll say, yeah, that looks like a generational talent. Mac Jones? Like, for, for all of that? <laughs> and you already have Jimmy Garoppolo, by the way. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.